Hello everyone, happy Sunday, God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prophetic word for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to the oldies. Thank you, thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm grateful for every single one of you. Thank you, and if you are not yet joining us on the prayer line, yeah, you, 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 and you. What in the world are you waiting for? Come and come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I know that your lives will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. You will be transformed. You'll be healed. You'll be delivered. You will be set free in the name of Jesus. And so I've brought you the prophetic word for today. It's a quick word um, from the Lord to encourage someone, to inspire someone, to motivate you, and to let you know that God can see. He sees you. Is the God that sees and he sees your sacrifices. The Lord says, I see your sacrifice. He says that you will shout for joy. You will shout for joy. Those who plant in tears. The Lord said, Psalm 126 and verse 5, this is the word of God for you today. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed but they sing as they return with the harvest they they weep as they go to plant their seed but they sing as they return with the harvest you've been sowing you've been planting you have been given you have just been doing everything that you know to do you've been seeking the face of god You've been praying, you've been fasting, and it looks like maybe what you're still looking to God for and what you expected in 2021 probably didn't happen the way you want it to happen or when you want it to happen. The Lord has sent me to encourage you today mm, to let you know that he sees you and that you still will reap. You will reap the harvest of everything that you have sown. The, new, uh, the, the King James Version says, those who so in tears shall reap in joy. They that go it forth and weep it, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Bringing his sheaves with him. Sheaves means a bundle of grain stalks laid lengthwise and tied together after reaping. That is how much you are going to reap. So I want to encourage someone today by the Spirit of God, do not give up don't give up because what happens is at the end of the year many people say well I tried and tried in 2021 I tried to pray I, I prayed more I read the word more I, I I fasted more and and I have nothing to show for it but I tell you by the Spirit of God that there is so much that you have to show for it you just wait for God's divine timing God's ordained time and I tell you that time is near the Spirit of God God has been saying the same thing to you and this is coming as a confirmation to someone to let you know that it is it is God that has been speaking to you that what you see you cannot move by what you see you cannot let what you see affect your stands in him because that shows that you you, you were not seeking relationship with God in the first place the Bible says we do not walk by sight but we walk by faith the just shall live by faith the bible says the just shall live by faith and so if you truly believe god if you truly love god and you love him beyond what you can see you love him beyond what you what you want from him you love him beyond your prayer points then you will understand what god is trying to tell you that those who plant in tears yes yes you gave even when you were in need you prayed even when it was uncomfortable you cried and praised God and jumped up and shouted in praise you are rejoicing even now you are participating in the praise warfare knowing full well that you have some worries ah don't you worry that thing that you are sowing that praise you're sowing that prayer you're sowing oh the, the word of God that you've been sowing into your life that the, the seed that you've been sowing the offering the tithing that you've been doing has not gone unnoticed by your God. He has sent me to let you know that you might have done all those things when it was inconvenient, when it was uncomfortable. Oh, but you will reap in joy. Oh, you will 
you will harvest everything you have sown with shouts of joy. And when it comes, uh, it will blow your mind what God is going to do. And I tell you, many will be reaping and getting their harvest of everything they've sown, not just in this year, 2021, but what they've sown five years, 10 years, even 20 years ago. And this is why it's important to be careful what you sow. But if you know that you've been doing the will of your father, it says for me to tell you mm, that you you were weeping as you were going to plant your seed you were weeping it was difficult for you to pray at midnight yet you got up and you prayed it was difficult for you to fit that prayer time 3 p.m 6 p.m into your into your schedule it was difficult for you to make time to fast and to seek the face of God yet you did it oh he says you will come back with singing you will return with your harvest in your hand, rejoicing, rejoicing, shouting for joy in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I believe this will be your testimony even before the end of this year. This will be your testimony even into 2022 and beyond. This shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Don't you give up on God now because he will never give up on you. He will never give up on you. I tell you before God, God will begin to bless you and begin to give you the, 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 the desires of your heart. It will test your heart. And many fail at this point. They fail at this point because they give up on God. They give up too soon. They decide, oh, he must not be hearing me. This must be pointless. Oh, they say prayer works, but it doesn't work. They say fasting works, but it doesn't work. Oh, believe me, I know what I am talking about. I am reaping the harvest of seeds sown 20, 30, years. Oh, I am reaping the prayers, seeing the results of prayers prayed over 20 years, 10 years, even five years ago. I am seeing the hand of God in my life in a way that I'd never seen it before because I didn't give up when I was in that sowing season. There are seasons where you sow, but there are seasons of harvest. You have to stay with God. It must be bigger than you. It must be more than your desires. It must be that you really want to relationship to the point that you say to God, if you do nothing else for me, I'll be good. What you've done, you've done enough for me. I'll be good if you do nothing else. But if it pleases you to still bless me, God, do it. Do it and do it in a way that will bring glory to your name. Oh, thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Father, for this word. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you for where we are now. Thank you for where you're yet taking us. We give you praise. You are a faithful God. <laughs> you are too faithful to fail. Yes, you are too righteous to fail. And we know that we know that we know that you are mighty to save. Therefore, we bless you. Therefore, we praise you. Therefore, we honor you. Be thou exalted forever in the name of Jesus. And as you have spoken over our lives today, Father, we believe you. We believe your word. And we are standing on your word. We refuse to move. We refuse to shake. We are standing on your word. We refuse to doubt. We are standing on your word we refuse to fear knowing full well that you make all things beautiful in your time in all the days of our appointed time we will wait on you until your name be exalted in our lives until our change come we will not leave you we will not back down now we will not give up on you now oh because you are bigger you are greater you are mightier than anything else in our lives. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. We give you praise for having answered. For you are the God who answers by fire. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. I know this is a quick word, but I pray that this has blessed you. And if it has blessed you, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave me your comment. I love to read them, and I appreciate every single one of you who takes the time to share with me how these words are impacting your life. I know we're praying for you. We are not. We're mm -mm, every single day. We pray for you, and I know that you too shall testify in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Look out for the uh, prayer therapy video this week on Wednesday, and also don't forget to join us on the prayer line mm -hmm. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Time. Look, people are joining from Spain, from China, from Kenya, from Canada, from the UK, from Germany. If you're in the U.S., you have no excuse, really. They're making the sacrifice. So can you. God bless you. And that's, again, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will not regret it. Your life will certainly will not remain the same. So God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed new Thank you.